Happy Star Wars Day! On the 17th of April, I decided to build a project to put outside for a few hours to celebrate. So with only about two weeks of evenings and weekends, the wise choice would have been to build something small and easy. But I'm not wise. My plan was to take Luke and make him bigger, a lot bigger, and not just bigger, but also better. I planned to light up his lightsaber, to add sound, and if all went to plan, have his arm move. But the question is, how much of that did I actually manage? So I got started with the easy and most interesting bit, building the lightsaber. I decided to use LED strips to light it up. The first step was testing a few different filaments and wall thicknesses to get the light to diffuse correctly along the blade. Once I had a combination that worked, I got to printing the full lightsaber. Then it was a case of removing the supports, putting it all together, and fitting the LED strips in. All that was left was to add a microcontroller to control the LEDs, and the lightsaber would be lit up. I decided to use a Tinsy 3.2 along with a prop shield. Once I added a bit of code, I had a lightsaber that lit up. Now, if you're anything like me, you're probably making lightsaber noises in your head. So the next step was to add sound. On the hardware side, adding a speaker was easy. I just attached an 8 ohm speaker to the prop shield and it was good to go. But on the software side, I started to have some issues. Having never used sound in a project before, I went straight to the Oracle Google. And like the bad programmer I am, instead of actually taking my time and reading documentation, I repeatedly copy and pasted code I didn't understand, and then deleted it when I couldn't get it to work. Until finally, after a few days of on and off trying, I got something to just about work, and I got a little bit excited. So with over a week gone, I moved on to the part of the project I had no idea about, moving the arm. I decided to build the mechanism around a servo I already had. As I had little clue what I was doing, I built a prototype first. First I tested just the servo moving without the lightsaber being on, and surprisingly it actually worked okay. Well, other than the whole thing toppling over when I didn't hold it. So I started printing the minifigure parts based on a modified version of Michael Curry's model. With the parts printing, it was time to combine the servo moving with the lightsaber being on. And I started running into problems. First, the LEDs lit up and the sound worked, but the servo didn't. After some googling, it turned out to be something to do with timers I still don't really understand, but followed some instructions on how to fix it. But then the servo worked, the LEDs lit up, but the speaker did nothing. So I went back to Google, but couldn't find anybody who had had the same problem. And after wasting a few more days trying to work out what was going on, I realised it was just me being an idiot, and I'd programmed both the servo and the audio to use the same pin. So with that fixed, I finally had movement, light and sound. I wanted some way to trigger the movement, and that turned out to be pretty simple. I added a HCSR04 distance sensor, and programmed it so that if anything comes within 10 centimetres, the arm will move. And that was the electronics part of the project sorted. Now, I just needed to combine it with a giant minifigure. By the time I had all the parts printed, it was now the 3rd of May, and time was quickly running out. To add the graphics, I chose to attempt to use water slide decal paper again. I had some issues, especially with the torso section, which I had to do multiple times, using up more of the little time I had left. But finally, I got it done. They look okay from a distance, but once you get closer you can see some issues. So on to putting it all together. Some parts needed a little adjustment, like the legs that I had got the measurements slightly wrong on, and were too tight at first. On to the torso, and with the magic of editing, it was done. And finally, early on the 4th of May, Luke was assembled and working. As I planned to put him outside for a few hours for others to see, I needed a base for most of the electronics to go in. Luckily, I had this wooden box that some toys came in. I drilled some holes, gave it a quick coat of paint, added some signs, and it was ready for Luke. The project was complete, just in time and ready to go outside for the evening. And here it is outside. There's loads that needs to be fixed or could be improved on this project, but I did learn a lot building it, especially around using a Tinsy. What I should really learn, but just can't seem to, is to always read the documentation when programming, and to give myself double the time I estimate for every project. I've actually just collected Luke in from outside, he was out for three hours, I hope he gave some people a smile. I'm already thinking about next year, and considering which Star Wars character to add. Who would you like? Anyway, I need to finish editing this video and catch up on some much needed sleep.